Hello, everyone, and thanks uh, again for joining us. We're really excited to uh, cover a little bit about rocket referrals and um, help you generate some more referrals for your business. We're going to get started today with just a couple of quick facts about uh, referrals that you might not have thought about. Uh, first of all, 83% of satisfied customers are willing to recommend, but the kicker is only 29% of those people actually do. That's a huge difference between those willing to recommend and those do. Um, you really need to have a strategy, a referral strategy that focuses on uh, getting those people to actually refer. There's also the existence of what we call a negative referral. Um, those come from detractors. And now these types of referrals are those that people are telling your friends not to come to you. Uh, it could be uh, someone who uh, doesn't like you for one reason or another, but there is the existence of a negative referral and you can't forget about them. Um, and the best referrals are those that you don't ask for. We love it when people come to you from someone else. Uh, that's what we call inbound referrals. And those are the ones that you don't have to make a call out to and they're going to close uh, 80 to 90 percent of the time. And remember that people refer to help others, not you. They're not there to add coins to your bank account. Uh, really, people do refer their friends and family because they feel like you are a special service that's going to take care of their friends and family. Now, one of the first steps, one of the first tips that we're going to go over is just how important it is for you to identify those promoters and detractors. We recommend using the Net Promoter Score. Now, it's definitely outside of the bounds of today's discussion to really cover this in detail, but essentially the Net Promoter Score is a system, it's a very short one or two question survey that you can ask your customers to find out whether or not they're likely to recommend. Now, the best part about the, the Net Promoter Score is that it really does help find your best promoters and worst detractors. And it's a very effective because it's a very short survey response. In fact, we see a response rate of about 40% uh, when we go through email, which is um, heads and shoulders above lots of other email tools. It encourages qualitative feedback. So when you ask people how likely they are to recommend, um, a follow-up question to that asks for qualitative feedback or information um, to help you figure out why they answered a certain way. Uh, but at the same time, it bubbles up to a quantitative score, something that you can calculate the significance of across your entire audience. We call that the Net Promoter Score. And it's an easy and effective way to collect testimonials. Uh, so when people do recommend you highly, uh, we like to uh, follow that up with a question that um, generates a testimonial from that customer as well. Now the best part about testimonials, I don't care if you're going to use them in your marketing material or not, you still need to collect them. And that's because testimonials, psychologically, when you give someone to give you a testimonial, they're several times more likely to give a referral after that. Now here's an example of how this can be used here. So what we'll do is um, show the net promoter score here. So the 63, that's an example of that qualitative, or sorry, the quantitative measurement. And once you know uh, how many customers are likely to recommend, you can start to calculate that across your entire audience, which is the chart in the middle here, the likely to recommend. Uh, an agency would be very happy to know that uh, we have 85% about people are likely to recommend. So this is a great example of some of the, the numbers that you can collect after you're running the Net Promoter Score survey. So the next tip is to make sure that you're making them feel good. Now this slide here shows an example of one way to go about that. First of all, uh, this, this is a thank you note. So it's something that is a handwritten note that goes out to the customer, uh, in this case, uh, for a referral. You have to make sure that when someone does refer that they do it again. So make sure you're sending out those handwritten thank you notes. Other things that you can do to make them feel good are welcome notes. When a new customer signs up with you, make sure you're sending them a note out to say welcome um, or other situations that you might think of that you come across. Um, <clears throat> we also recommend making personal phone calls out to people. So when you need to make sure that you're staying in touch with your, with your best promoter. So once you've identified those people, make sure you're calling out to your best promoters and kind of figuring out what's new in their life. Now, don't go selling them new products or services but at that time, but make sure that you are thinking about that as they give you information. Are they telling you things about maybe a, 
you know, one of their kids who are graduating or maybe um, a new baby is on the way or they're looking for a new house. All of those kinds of things obviously are, are something that you could use in the future. But the reason, the primary reason you need to make sure that you're making them feel good is because remember going back to why people refer, they refer to help others. They want, they want to feel comfortable and trusted that you're going to make their friends and family feel just as good as you made them feel. And finally, it's important to track your results. Always ask when a new customer comes in, who was it that referred you to us? Simply replace the question that you're asking today of how did you hear about us with this? Because you're going to actually get better information. They're going to tell you where they came from, even if they didn't come from a referral. But it's putting people in that referral mindset. It's really important. Plus, it's super important for you to track and know who is referring who. So in QQCalis, for example, there's a source field. Make sure that you're filling out that as a referral and putting the detail of the person's name um, or ID or however you want to track that person in there. It's very important. And then watch the communication that you're sending to those people. So track referrals, but also track the communication that's coming from one person. Here's a tip. It's more than one piece of communication that really generates referrals. You might be looking online or trying to find different referral tactics or um, you know, communications that you can send. But you have to remember that it's not always one thing that's going to do it for you. In fact, it's a combination of things that bubble up to an entire strategy that are really going to have a, a strong impact. Um, but to do that, you need to make sure that you're tracking the communication to find the ones that are the most effective for you. And then monitor your net promoter score. Uh, continue to ask those net promoter survey questions over time and see how things are going up and down. Um, you might see a, an up spike in your net promoter score. And then you want to ask yourself, what are the things that you were doing around that time that could have potentially caused that up spike? And the same goes for downtrends as well. What happened that could have caused the net promoter score to go down? Those are the things that you want to avoid, and obviously the things that make it go up you want to do more of. Here's an example of a screen that uh, shows exactly how you might uh, track the, the pieces of communication or the types of things that you want to communicate. This is a slide out of Rocket Referrals, um, but we want you to track very similar information. Um, so here's a, a specific user, uh, Able Tutor here, and you can see who he was referred by. So we're tracking who referred this person. We do that because we know that when someone is referred, they're actually more likely to refer themselves. And then down here we have the referrals that this person has given. In this scenario, this person has not given any referrals. Um, however, you can see that they've given a testimonial, um, several or two survey responses. In this case, they went from a 10 to a 2, so there's or a 2 to a 10. So there's something that happened that turned that detractor into a promoter. And then we have a list of all of the different pieces of communication uh, that was sent out to this person. And um, finally, at the top, uh, you can look at all of this uh, and determine that this person is highly likely to recommend. Um, or, and a couple of other supplementary pieces of information, such as how long they've been a customer and when was the last time they were contacted. So we've talked about you know, how important it is to make sure you are finding out who your promoters are and then communicating them with them to continue to make them happy and then tracking your results. Um, those are definitely things that you need to do, uh, but how can Rocket Referrals help? Well, first of all, Rocket Referrals really is an entirely automated referral strategy. So um, it's also directly integrated with QQ Catalyst. So the best part is our relationship with them and in the marketplace means you can go out there and add on Rocket Referrals and know that your data is going to be synced. So you simply work inside of QQ Catalyst as you normally would. And um, Rocket Referrals is that automated referral strategy that runs in the background. So we have what we call our smart referral algorithm that looks at those net promoter surveys, or we do the net promoter surveys, and then look at that data combined with all of the other data that's in QQ Catalyst and that we know about your customers to find those who are more like most likely to recommend or to refer. And then we automate communication to them at the right time. The best part about our communication is that um, a, we have that really cool handwriting technology that I showed you a picture of. So all of the notes that go out um, are 
essentially handwritten. It's, um, they're not. They're automated. And uh, if anybody wants to get a sample of them, please contact me, and I'll be happy to give you some. But uh, it's not a font. It's actually uh, someone's handwriting that we've converted digitally. But we have proven psychology-backed um, content or copy uh, that's proven to generate referrals that you don't have to worry about. And then we also track all of the referrals and communication that goes out to someone, which I kind of showed a few screenshots there. So while all of the tips and everything I went over today you could do without rocket referrals, essentially we automate that entire process for you, integrated with QQ Catalyst. So you just set up the communication and um, it runs on autopilot for you. Uh, we went over a few things today um, that I wanted to give some resources for as well. Uh, the blog that we write uh, for one, the Iowa Biz, is another blog that we write about business referrals, and you can uh, learn a lot about those as well. And um, the Net Promoter Survey, or sorry, system, if you want to learn more about that. So next steps, please give us a call if you have any questions. You want to just talk referrals? We're happy to talk about uh, referral tips or anything at any at any point. Um, also, uh, you can email me directly. And we uh, have a web page uh, specifically for QQ Catalyst customers um, at rocketreferrals.com slash QQ Catalyst. And that's pretty much it for today. So please take advantage of the resources that we have and give us a contact if you have any further questions.